Welcome back to the VSD channel. Yesterday Samsung released an updated version of the One UI Home and it was good news guys because it finally fixed the widgets opening and closing. What do I mean? Well, I'm just going to very quickly demonstrate this to you or you can go and watch the video I have released yesterday. But right now when you open the weather widget and you close it, you are no longer getting this abrupt widget closure. But now we have even more updates because Samsung apparently are also updating the Home app good luck module and this is key and important and let me tell you why because right now we have still a home up but we are limited in what we can do with it and i want to show you so when we open the home screen we can already see that a lot of the options are gone such as the app list that is usually available here and can help you get a vertical up drawer but not only this if we go to the task changer guys and let's say i want to use it right now first it didn't really work all the time right and then also we have only two layout options the list one which is kind of like the default one which i already have and also the grid one let me tell you this is the grid one of course you can also have the mini mode for the grid one and also the mini mode for the list one like this but the stack option the vertical list and the slim list we're missing from the home up so right now samsung are adding the unsupported layouts for the touch changer and they also fix some of the issues settings per reset when you delete an app and also some incompatibilities with the latest version of home one year home so in this video guys i'm going to directly update the home up and we're going to quickly see what other options they brought back because still the feeling is that one year six and home up are not really working as they should be home app is not yet updated to support all the nice things that we can usually do with it so now i've updated it i'm running my good luck and by the way i'm using the patrician from corsicano if you want to check out this done check some of my older videos i'm going to go inside home app first thing i want to do is just make sure that i'm indeed using the latest version so how can we be sure of this it's it 15.001.11 now directly let's go to the touch changer guys here we can see that samsung added back the stack the vertical list and the slim list and let's start with the stack all right testing it yep works like charm that's good news now also let's test the mini mode okay mini mode also runs for stack the vertical list which is this one here a lot of people are also using this okay works also as expected let's check what happens if we have a circular list all right you can see why those customizations are so cool because you can all do them without having root and without having to tap with your phone and now we have the slim list which is also uh, something very useful not at least for me but people are using it and you have also the circular list for this slim list it does also work now let's go back and let me just choose the stack one because stack one is nice one it's more condensed so i'm usually a fan of the stack one what I want to do right now, I'm going to go back in the home screen and see if they brought anything else back. Sadly, no. So no app list, no vertical app drawer yet. But at least they promised to bring back the missing layout types, which they kind of did. And right now you can enjoy all of them. Uh, and if you're a fan of things like this, guys, don't forget to support the channel. Now, besides choosing a layout for your task changer and choosing the mini mode or let's say the standard mode, you have also other options like center the current running app, which is this. So for example, if I'm to open any other application, let me just show you guys, I'm gonna go back on my home screen, I'm gonna open X. If I am now to minimize, I'm going to always get this centered, okay? So this is also an option, people use that one. You have also the app label. I can decide to show the app label. So right now I see that's good luck, that's X and whatsoever. I can also decide to remove it. So when I go back, boom, it's, I'm gonna get a clear view, no app labels. Then you have the search bar. So standard view, we have the search bar here. If we remove the search bar, guys, boom. So without this option, you're gonna get a more minimal setup here. You see no search bar. They're also the same for the recommended apps. And there are also a lot of settings for the gestures. So I encourage you to go and play with those. There are some nice things like even putting priority on the gestures and also play with the bottom gestures with the sensitivity so it's really a very useful app and let's say if you don't like it anymore so let's say you want to just revert back you can either turn off the layout from here right which is going to go back to standard or just disable the whole home app module again thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to support the channel check the video i did yesterday about updating the one year home well because this is going to fix you all the widgets and that's it guys stay safe vst over and bye